Welcome back, everyone. Well, it is that time of the week, our favorite time of the week. It is time for our Friday SoCal. Now, today we are heading just a few miles southeast of Los Angeles. We are going to the city of Huntington Park, and that is where we find our lovable Sheba Turk. She joins <laughs> us live with all the highlights of HP Sheba. Hi, ladies. That's right. It is all about HP this morning from delicious Mexican food to a farmer's market. They say you have to check out. There's so much cool stuff here. What we're starting our view of this morning, though, is Pacific Boulevard because this is a commercial corridor with so many great things. Bakeries, restaurants, shops. We'll be taking you to some of those this morning. But first, we wanted to find out why so many people love HP. It's always been a, a favorite of mine to go to Pacific and just, awesome. you know, kind of walk the area and shop. Karina Macias has been on the Huntington Park City Council for a decade, and she's a lifelong resident of the area. She says that a visit to Huntington Park should definitely include a trip to Pacific Boulevard. The one and a half mile commercial corridor is a cultural and shopping destination for Mexican and Central American immigrants. So you definitely have a lot of Latino uh, presence here, a lot of Latino culture in this community. The city has about 60,000 residents and 90% of the population is Latino. Another spot where locals spend a lot of time is Salt Lake Park. That's a great spot. I mean, Salt Lake Park is one of our biggest parks here in the city. Uh, we have, uh, our biggest thing has been to improve and increase green space here in the city. And Salt Lake Park is one where the community highly uses it. Uh, they use it for parties. They go there to walk, to run, exercise. We have a lot of activities for the kids, whether it be baseball, basketball, uh, extracurricular activities. There are currently efforts underway to increase green space in the area and improve infrastructure. And while you're at Salt Lake Park, you have to check out the certified farmer's market. It really provides a, a space for the community to come together. They also provide information on resources for the community. So it's beyond the food, you know, you really do get a lot of great access to resources. There. Huntington Park is home to several large factories, but overall it's known for being a small area with people who enjoy that small town feel. So it's really a uh, small town, but with a lot of big hearts and a lot of uh, individuals here in this community. All right, so we got some great stuff to show you this morning. We are going to start at a bakery. As you heard there, most of the population here is Latino. This is one of their favorite spots. So, guys, as we know, part of my job is to eat. It's for you. It's for research. You know, I'm just giving myself to the job. So I'll be doing that very soon. <laughs> you <laughs> sacrifice yourself every Friday in I such a way. I, Sheba, you better bring Friday, some bakery uh, my... treats back tomorrow. I expect to Don't eat Don't I some. always feed you guys? You do. You it do. is part of my spirit, of course. It is. <laughs> Yes, you are right, very inclusive. Thank you, Sheba. 